from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, around eastern Oklahoma, there's been some action going on. We had some heavy rain and thunderstorms this morning. It went all the way from eastern Oklahoma back down to around McAllister where we we're showing you damage. We still have some active weather now, kind of curving on our southwest perimeter. Cell's gone up near Okmulgee. A uh, real heavy thunderstorm right now in northwestern portions and western portion of Oak Fusky County. Congratulations, you're getting rain. And so that's welcome news for you. Heavier rains off, also off to the west. This is all basically drifting south, but heavy thunderstorms, lots of lightning associated with this. This is continuing to move into the areas around I-40. And then there's not a whole lot else happening across the area. We have that one cell that's off to the east, southeast of Morris hanging in there. It's going there, Hitchita, and then on the north uh, leg or north arm of Lake Eufaula. So that's going to continue to track basically south southeast so that's that part now overall we've had a few pulses to severe levels and that has been with the storm that has come out of Lincoln County went into Creek County now into Oak Fusky County and you see how it's kind of lost a little bit we have uh, two updraft areas though they're still pretty strong that one died down and that became that knocked out the severity of the storm and but we're still going to be dealing with a couple of these they're going to be big enough if they collapse we could get some strong damaging wind potential we'll be watching that tonight as it tracks south in fact Bob is out right now Bob Roloff is tracking that storm he's going to keep an eye on what's happening with that and we'll have to watch it again similar to last night we don't want anything to get carried away basically like in Crowder uh, so that's something that's going to have to be watched for a while but unfortunately we'd sure like to get some rain but that's not happening for many of us right now all right so what else is happening well we did end up with some pretty good rains in a few areas and some of those rains were generally fairly much on the lighter side to the north uh, but uh, we ended up for the last 14 days really good rains across the northern half and the southeast finally this morning we picked up some much needed rain not enough to break a drought we're still dealing with a lot of issues in south central southwest and part of our area and because of that we still have burn bans in effect including Tulsa County Washington County extending down through Okmulgee County McIntosh County just because of rains doesn't really mean that things are going to improve a ton in the near term future all right tomorrow more schools are starting Graham Dustin and then also at Oilton and Watts Starting off the morning, pretty good. And then in the afternoon, kind of hot, but not too bad. Humidity levels are down a little bit. See some lightning in the background there, but uh, today we went in moderate ozone levels. But we do have an ozone alert for tomorrow. So if you can put off mowing tomorrow, even a lot of people around Tulsa had their grass starting to grow. It's like, I can go mow. I haven't done that for like two months. What if the mower will start? Anyway, tonight, again, just kind of watching off to the south and west. Occasionally a little bit of lightning. More of that lightning is obviously down around Oak Fusky County. We're talking about 81 degrees right now. You can call it a little heat index, but not much. And in fact, with a dew point in the upper 60s, and we'll probably stay in the 60s, which would make it real comfortable uh, as we look at the humidity levels. So that's good. Um, overall, temperatures are in the 70s to low 80s. Usually it's in the 90 degree area, not the case. 70s to low 80s again around here, and then those few thunderstorms here, a couple out west, they've been dying down somewhat. Overnight though, we could still see a flare up of a few storms from Tulsa South. So this is our last chance, 30% chance of coverage from Tulsa South. By morning, things just kind of start to push farther south and east. You might get a still some rain if you're in far southern Pittsburgh County or LaFleur, Latimer counties. Otherwise, we're looking at the afternoon to be warm, isolated shower in southeast Oklahoma. And it just looks like overall the weather pattern is kind of going to go back to where we were, uh, but except not as hot here initially, upper 60s to around 70 Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon will be into the 90s, and then by the time we get into Friday, 90s, 100 showing up out west, and then on Saturday, 90s again with more 100s out west, and then by Sunday, the hot air is moving into our area, and then that's when we'll have to watch out. Overall, we're not worried too much, but we do have at least a slight chance of storm still in central Oklahoma over the next 10 days. Not a lot here, though. 79 at midnight, slight chance of a storm through about 3 o'clock in the morning. By the time we get in the morning, ozone alert in effect. Again, anything you can do to help us out, greatly appreciate it. 88 as we look on into the noon, and then the afternoon will be in the low 90s. And then we're just going to kind of hang low to mid 90s here for the next couple of days. Creeping, so we'll be creeping. And then we creep up to creepy levels of 100 plus. <laughs>